live in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Hello, guys. doing today I'm here live in studio you on Instagram Facebook blog talk YouTube Spotify and all of the other platforms out there with streaming mechanisms that may pick this up at the same time so today we are going to talk about the 10 steps to get Instagram followers. Everybody wants a whole bunch of Instagram followers. That's everybody's goal, to have tens of thousands of Instagram followers. And um, it's a great goal to have. I do not blame you guys. It's a great, great, great goal to have. Today we're going to talk about how many how to get you some real live organic followers. How many people I got on here? Oh, hi everybody, I can't see. She has this thing on super bright today. Yeah. I don't know if I'm sensitive to the light. So, number one. I'm sorry guys, I'm moving a little slow today. I've been under the weather the last couple days. Just a fever. I'm not sure if it's a coronavirus. I refuse to take a test. I know some people are like, why would you not want to take the test? I don't want you to know. I don't want to know if I had it or didn't have it. I just don't want to have it. If that makes any sense. So, um, today, we're, we're just been taking it very easily in light. So I do apologize for my lower energy today, but we are actually going to get into topic right now. We're going to keep this fairly simple, trying something a little different in the next couple episodes. We might not run it for the whole hour that we normally do, but um, we're going to see if, we, if shorter ones get more views. I need you guys to share and I need you guys to like these posts to people i need you to um let people know what i'm talking about if you think it's important if you don't please comment send me a message say yo you're, what you're saying is not relevant we don't like it can you talk about something else because if i don't get feedback from you guys i really don't know what to talk about and this is just stuff that come up in my head in my news feed that i'm like okay maybe i'll talk about this today I will talk about that. I mean, everything is planned and dictated out, but I would love to get your you guys' feedback on what you would like to hear about and learn about or what you don't know yet. Because I know there's a lot of coaches out there who are teaching people a lot of, of the same stuff. And I pride myself on trying to be a little bit different 
but I need to grasp your attention. So, I need you to tell me what will grasp your attention more. So please, DM me, inbox me, send a note in the chat. Let me know what um, inspires you and what you want to hear about, what you want to talk about. Um, anybody who would like to call into the show, feel free. You can dial in at 563-993562. I am in, in 2021. This is the second quarter coming into the second quarter or the end of the third quarter. We are looking for sponsorships to sponsor the show so that we can get a little bit more, you know, cool, cooler stuff in here. I'm going to change up the background every once in a while. So if you would like to be a sponsor and know somebody who would like to be a sponsor, um, just hit me up and uh, we can discuss that as well. So let's get into the topic of today. I have 10 ways to get more people on your Instagram organically. Okay? So my first thing is op optimizing your Instagram account. Everybody's Instagram account needs to be very important. It's very important. That bio that you have at the top of your Instagram needs to tell people who you are, what you can do for them, and how you can help them. Those are, that's, those are things that can help. Um, thank you, Katie. Those are things that can help grow your Instagram followers. But then when people go to your page, they can actually know what you know what your page is about if they can't see it on your bio. Second part about that is making sure that your page tells the story of what you do and how you do it and why you do it. Your your Instagram page should be not a clusterfuck of your life. It needs to be if it's going to be a clusterfuck of any kind. It needs to be one of your business. It needs to tell the story of your business, who you are, what do you do, what's your products, you know, what are you trying to sell the people, what are you motivating the people to do? Why would they even want to follow you on your page, okay? Like, don't have a business page where you smoke the weed on it all day unless you are selling weed, all right? Are you looking high all day? Don't have too many vacation pictures on your page unless you're selling vacations. Don't, I mean, everything is a little, because people do want to know who you are. They'll kind of want to know your personality, things you do. But at the end of the day, make sure your page tells the story of your business. If, if you want a page where you are selling your, you know, just talking to, telling and showing your kids and everybody else, then create a personal page. Create a personal page for that. But not on your business page. Your business page is supposed to be business. It's supposed to look like a business page. People are want, should, the one that should identify what kind of business you have through your page. That is why um, that page is super duper important the way you have it. Now, um, the next part of it, number two, is keep your calendar consistent with content. So your page needs to have a consistency. So every if you so in your consistency does not mean you have to post every day, five times a day, ten times a day. No, I'm not telling you that. I'm telling you that you need to be able, if you're gonna post twice a week, then that's what you need to stay at. Twice a week you throw your post up and you post, okay? If you're gonna post every day, post, make sure that you post something every day. If you're only gonna post once a month, make sure you post once a month, okay? Um, and make sure whatever, if you're only gonna post every, every few times, make sure that the, those posts are very, are very, um, are very um, powerful posts, that they say something, they mean something. So that people will grab to your post, okay? Um, and then everybody has this time frame, like, oh, I don't have time. You know, some people, I tell people, you wake up early in the morning, like, set your alarm for maybe a few minutes earlier. You know, maybe 30 minutes earlier, you set your alarm for, and you wake up and you 
do two or three posts that you have scheduled, and then that's it. It's done for the day. You know, that's like working out, drinking water, anything else. If you want to get it done, it can't get done. There's ample time that you are not doing something on, that you're not doing something. Then maybe take other times to find hashtags, to find um, different things that will help grow your page. But at the end of the day, making sure that your page um, has consistent posts on it is very, very important. Use scheduling software to schedule your posts in advance so that you don't have to do it if you're not one to post every day yourself. So schedule your post. That means Hootsuite, Later, there's so many other softwares out there that will schedule a post for you. You schedule the post and then you let it go. You schedule a week, you schedule a month, you schedule a couple of days, then you add in whatever you wanna add at the same time. But schedule those posts. Make sure it is super important that you have a scheduling and a time frame. Um, number four is get partners and brand advocates to post your post, okay? So one thing that I do is because I am a business coach, I have, um, I'll have a business, um, business shout out day. And for me, that's how I get a lot of new followers. You know, people get attention to my page. I bring attention to my page is have a business shout out. Now everybody, I don't suggest that for everybody. It works for me because it is, um, I'm a business coach. So if you're a business coach, you know, shout out other businesses and post it in your story. It, it's like killing two birds with one stone. You now have stuff in your story and you now have, um, you're supporting a small businesses out there. Now, if you have a hair care product or a clothing line or something of that nature, that might not be something you want to do, but maybe post, um, create a post that helps other people in your industry. So, um, like Katie, I know you sell beard oils and you sell hair growth oils. So, as you, you might want to post on no, you might want to find barbers, you know, support the newest barbers or newest hairstylists or whatever and have those over, um, have people tag a new barber or a new hairstylist. You know, if you have a boutique, you know, somebody who's maybe having a birthday, post post somebody's birthday for today if you have a boutique or a candle line or a clothing line or some kind of fashion line, like post your birthday and then everybody tags everybody whose birthday it is for that day. And then that'll inspire them to come to your page, see what you have, and and go from there. Or say, if you like what, if you like this sweater, like if I had a clothing line, and I had this sweater on there, if you like this sweater, tag somebody else who will like this sweater. Those are great ways to get people to tag on your page so that you can, um, pick new followers, new random people that will actually come to your page and hopefully like what you're liking and, and what you're doing, okay? Number five is avoid in fake Instagram followers. Now, I have a couple of pages out there and I have one branding page out there. On my be unique dot today, be unique dot brands, or be unique underscore brands page, okay? That is my clothing line, that's my t-shirt line, sports um, stuff, you know, some little candles. I have a little bit of everything on that page. So on that page, on that line, I get all of these inboxes about how I can get you followers, how I can get you followers. Um, you know, do a promo with me for $35, I can get you 5,000 followers, okay? Now, the trick with those people are is you really, really, really have to investigate those kind of people. You have to investigate them. You have to be like, um, what kind of followers are you getting me? Where are your followers from? Who, who are these people who are following you? B 
because I don't need everybody to be following me. That is the trick, is you do not want everybody in the world to follow you. If you have a United States product or you're only shipping in the U.S., you don't need a thousand people from Pakistan to follow you. You're not going to do anything with them. They're not buying your product, period. They might sell you some stuff, but they're not buying your product. So you want to make sure that you have a product out there or that you're targeting those people who want your product, who want to buy from you, who want to, um, who like what you're selling. If you're selling something, if you're selling a service, you need to make sure that they're going to be able to understand and grasp that service. Again, you do not want to sell something that if you're doing massages in Atlanta, you don't need a thousand people from Pakistan or Libya or, uh, or Nicaragua to be following you. It doesn't even make sense. Or even Mexico, it doesn't make sense. Why would you want all those people following you? So just having a bunch of random followers is not good. Then, when you, sometimes when you pay these people to promote on your page or promote your page, they give you these fake followers that you look at their profiles and they don't have they don't have any pictures, they don't have any posts, they don't have any comments, they don't have anything. So you have to take all of that in consideration because if I have 10,000 people with fake profiles, how many of those fake profiles are gonna buy from me? How many of those fake pro profiles are gonna spend money? How many of you are gonna like my picture? Huh? How many of them are gonna like my picture? Zero. Zero. So at least you can get a like out of some some people, but if they're a fake profile and it's not real, then and it has a freaking Indian Pakistani name or something like that, then um it's it's kind of like messed up for you because you just spent thirty five, forty five, fifty five hundred dollars to get these followers who will do nothing for you. You will not make a dime off of it. Or if you're selling fitness products and your you you did advertisement on a shoe page or not maybe a high heel page and you sell fitness products, right? You sell tennis shoes, you sell warm up outfits and stuff like that. Those people are, are very unlikely to buy what you're selling. So making sure that those people are your target market and know who you are targeting when you're out here making these posts and actually generating, you know, getting new followers. You need to know who you are targeting. All right, number six is showcase your Instagram everywhere. So, when you are out and about, when you're talking to people, when you are dealing, you know, being social, you need to show people your Instagram page. You need to be like, yo, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. I know that sounds crazy, but that's the new phone number. Follow, just follow me on Instagram, man. Are you following me? You know, instead of giving people your phone number, make sure, make them follow you on Instagram. So they can see your product and see what they do. They'll learn a little bit about you. And then, you know, if they want to contact you like that, they can hit you in the DMs, get your real number, whatever, whatever. And then that shows that that person really has interest in you is if they are one of your social media followers, then they can see a little bit more about you and your personality and your business, okay? So make sure that you use your Instagram as like a business card use it as your phone number. So tell people to follow you on Instagram, wherever you go. And you know, most people will follow you a lot quicker on your IG than they will your phone number or anything else if they have an Instagram. And if they don't have an Instagram, that just nipped it in the bud, they will never be one of your social media followers anyway because they don't have social media. Um, so it's kind of, a point was at that point. So make sure you showcase people, show people your page, be proud of your page, show, show everything that you're doing, your life, your structure on your page, okay? Um, post content that your followers want to see. So my page, again, I'm talking about business development, business coaching, 
getting people out there who, you know, getting your business out there. So that's the kind of stuff I post on my page along with my products and everything else. Um, but make sure you post stuff that people, if I started posting, uh, post on my page about fish or, you know, uh, crab legs every day or something that's not even relevant to my page or the shoes that I wear every day, um, that's not going to be relevant to my business page because I talk about business coaching and everything else. And even if I did decide to sell shoes in this business coaching venture, my whole the whole idea behind it would be is that I would create a whole new page and, to, and push people to that other page. Just like my Be Unique page, I create that page and I push people towards that page and they follow me there and like my stuff there. So those are the things that you have to do. Make sure your content is consistent to what you are doing for you, the people out there and what you're doing for everybody. Okay, and make sure that it's what your followers want to see. And do test markets on stuff. Like do, talk about stuff that you think is relevant. Talk about stuff that's trending. Talk about stuff that is, um, you know, out the box, motivational stuff. And see what people like. And that will kind of gain what kind of followers you have and who is actually following you, okay? Um, get a conversation started. So when you make a post or you do a story, make sure it's something that people will talk about or you can talk about with other people. So ask a question. Ask about a scenario. How do you feel? What do you think? You know, start asking people on your pages questions so that they want to um, get feedback. I know a lot of pages do these affirmations like, yeah, I'll be a millionaire in, in two years. Tag, tap yes if you believe in that. And then that gets you a yes. That helps your algorithm. That helps your post. That helps everything going on with you on your page. So make sure you ask questions on your post on your page. And if you do not want to do it as a, um, hey D, if you don't want to do it as a video, I mean as just a, a word post, do it as a video. Create a little short two, three minute video. Be like, hey, how do y'all feel about this? Hey, how do y'all feel about that? And that will help grow your page. People like videos, especially with this new TikTok stuff. People love videos. So make sure that you are creating content that helps um, grow your page and that people will want to see. Um, and you want to start a conversation with those people so that they can talk to you and they can come convert with you and everything else, okay? Um, Number nine is one of the things that I've always say is most important is hashtag. Hashtag is your easiest way to market your, your um, business. Make sure that you're using hashtags on every post. You can post up to 30, I think it's 25 hashtags. Let's keep it at a safe number. 25 hashtags. You can post up to 25 hashtags per post. Um, it may be 30. I do between 30 and 25 um, hashtags on every post that I post. The reason why we want to do hashtags, people follow hashtags. I follow hashtags that are relevant to me. Um, hashtags get you followers for the people who follow the hashtags. So if you are like small business, CMOS, um, beauty, makeup. Those should be hashtags that you use, long hair, hair growth, those are hashtags. Now, there's a whole bunch of science behind hashtags. Um, I use, sometimes I'm just real lazy with it and I Google, you know, hashtags about a topic that I'm talking about. I try to change my hashtags up. But making sure that you just use hashtags. If everybody can get in the hash, in the, um habit of hashtagging every post that they do, you will see an increase in your likes and your followers 
instantly. You'll get two to three new followers, two to three new likes um, every day. And it'll keep growing, especially if you're consistent with it. Um, then that's a way for you to find your tar some of your target customers. So going into number 10 um, is finding your, making sure you find your target customer. You want to use hashtags. You want to say, so if you do a t-shirt company, t-shirt lovers, people who like t-shirts, t-shirts, um, graphic tees, you know, new fashion graphic tees. So you, you can find a company that has um, graphic tees and follow and like some of the people that they do or comment on their posts if they have graphic tees. Or if you have a person who, or if you're a hair braider and you go to other hair braiders that's in your area, you, you follow and like this because you know those people are in the area or at least close and like what that person is doing. So you look at the people who are commenting and following and you and you jump on their um, on their people, okay? Send them to your page. Let them see what you're doing. Um, if you have business coach, I go on other business coaches' pages and I like and I follow and I I um, follow some of the people who they follow and people who are about their business. I follow them back. So. Those are the things. Give away number 10. Give away free products. Not like a whole bunch of free stuff, but the, to give away free stuff is more or less a ploy to get email addresses and to get people to and to get people to, you know, see what you are offering them, okay? So you want to Give away maybe a free ebook or something like that that gets your followers up. People will share it. Tell people that they to they have to like, share, and everything else, and then they will um, get the free product, which pushes you towards new customers and new followers and new likers, so that people will want to follow you. So make sure that you are kind of offering your customers something. Your Instagram followers something so that they want to come back to your page want to see what you're talking about and make sure it has some value to it like that's like me posting this and to me if you're trying to grow your page or you don't have a lot of followers or you don't know what to really do to grow your page this right here will help you I'm not charging you for this content I'm not you know this is nothing miraculous nothing really crazy spectacular but at the end of the day it is content it's free content to help you grow your page so that you can get the people to follow you that you want to follow all right guys so we're gonna circle back i'm gonna go back into it optimizing your page making sure that your page looks and feel like a business Oh, and then another thing that everybody needs to do, I know that some people do this. If you have a business page, you go into your settings in Instagram and change it from a personal page to a business page. That helps your algorithm too. And it gives you those beautiful insights that people have on their page. It tells you how many people are following you, how many people are coming back to your page, what content is popular. Like all of that is very important. Use those insights to see what people really like. You know what I mean? I've noticed that y'all love pictures of me. Y'all like videos of me. Don't really care what I'm saying. But y'all like to look at me. I know I'm cute. I know I'm cute. But goddamn, can y'all like some of the content that I put out there too? I don't do this just to be cute. If I wanted to be Instagram model, I'd be on here half naked. I try to educate my customers, educate my guests, make sure that they are happy, you know, educated about how to grow their business. Sorry, fire truck. And make sure that they know what they want to do with their business. If I wanted to, if I just wanted to be an Instagram person or Instagram socialite, I would just be on there posting half nudes 
and my ass out and stuff like that. And then y'all could like all of those pictures, but you still wouldn't be giving me no money. So the goal is to make money off of you guys. I want to provide a service to make money. And all of you guys who are on here who want to know about how to grow your Instagram, and that is your goal as well. So don't don't try to feel some type of way. Oh, she's being real. Yes, I'm being very real. I want to make money. I want to make money, okay? So make sure your page is a business page. Um, I want to help you guys too. It's not all about money. It's about helping you guys creating a product that will help you so that I can make the money that is desired. All right? Schedule your post. Stay consistent. Um, find people who are brand advocates for you. If you have a clothing line, shoe line, find people who will repost your stuff, will talk about your stuff. Um, if you have new books coming out and it's not moving how you need to move, maybe give out a couple of books to some influencers and hopefully they'll repost for you. Um, showcase your Instagram to everybody, everywhere. Facebook, tell people on Facebook to follow you. Tell people on LinkedIn. Tell people everywhere to start following you on your social media. And make sure that they follow you on those pages. Post content that your followers want. Make sure that your content is important enough and has valuable enough so that people will actually want your content. You know what I mean? Um, want to see what you're posting. Regardless of what it is. If it's clothes, if it's before and afters of hair growth, oil. If it is you talking about business. Um, if you're helping, make sure you post those that, that content um, that they want to see. Um, start a conversation with your people. Make sure that they are talking about what's going on. Um, what's going on with your products, what's going on with you, what are, they, what are their questions, what are their concerns, you know, do those kind of things and to get your conversation going. Ask your followers questions. That is the best way to get engagement in your Instagram and social media is ask them questions. Sometimes you just have to ask the question to get an answer, all right? Make sure you use the hashtags. Make sure you are using hashtags. Make sure that you are posting hashtags um, that are relevant to what you are talking about in your post, that is relevant in what's going on and what you're saying. Make sure you're using hashtags, okay? If you use the least 20 hashtags, this will help you get your algorithm up. It will help you people find you um, people search hashtags people uh, follow hashtags just like they do everything so when people follow in hashtags so say people I'm a business owner I I use that one a lot hashtag business owner so if you follow hashtag business owner every time I post something it comes across your feed even though you may not see it you may be my friend or you may not be my friend but you'll see it. So make sure you use those hashtags to get those people to follow you. If that's any, if you don't do anything else tonight, use hashtags, okay? Start using those hashtags, okay? And then do stuff to make your Instagram followers happy. Find what works for them. Find what they love. Find what work, what they need. And make them happy. That your Instagram page is really not about you. If you're a business, it's about your business and it's about providing a service to your customers. So make sure that you are providing that service to your customers and that you are putting yourself out there. Okay, guys, so that is a that's all 10 of my how to get new Instagram followers. I hope you guys like that. Make sure you follow, like, share this post with everybody you guys know. If you are watching me on YouTube, make sure you comment and say something nice to me about it. Um, oh. 
and make sure that you are telling people about my page. So every Wednesday at 9 o'clock we'll be on here. Um, if you have any questions, topics that you would like me to talk about, please DM me because we'll be creating the new, um, in the next two or three weeks of topics coming up. So if there is something that you would like to discuss, then hit me up and I will see you guys later. Check out my Be Unique page. Follow, like, and share these con this content. Bye.